okay so good morning everyone and uh, i think so this stream will go on youtube as well so that uh, those people who are not able to join can uh, also watch it but uh, they won't be able to interact right they won't be able to uh, solve the doubts if they have any uh, so you guys uh, can enjoy that part <laughs> so how's everyone going on right now all good uh guys you can speak uh stream should be interactive it's more fun when we interact with one another okay so uh i just created a folder on the, my desktop screen and uh, we will be discussing about topic let me open mouse pad and name it stream notes i guess that will be that txt okay so we will be talking about uh, how to create target specific for list okay now why does we require a target specific for list first of all that now uh, many of us when we start uh, one second okay okay i think so this should be the target specific word list okay now you guys tell me why do we require a target specific word list what is the reason for doing that anyone What is the requirement of uh, creating a target specific for list? Why do we require to do that stuff? Does anyone know? Well, let me just uh, give you, you guys are not interacting. Okay? So uh, normally what we do uh, when we want to force for direct right? file brute forcing, when we do file brute forcing, normally we would go to sec list. Okay. We will go to set list. What happened? Set list. Then uh, we would select go to discovery web content, and we will normally select any one word list from this. Right now, uh, this this step is common. Like lots of people will do the same thing, and uh, this would this would uh, what to say? one second sorry for the distortion sounds coming from the background <laughs> so uh, this would uh, give a rise to a problem which is known as duplicates <laughs> because many people will use the same word list so they will get the same result or uh, the person who will use that word list first will get the result first right so that guy will report the bug and uh, uh, the company will fix it so when you will use it you won't be able to find a directory right so lots of people use uh, this for list one is uh, uh, i guess dir search dir search uh, word list which uh, is by default in the dir search it comes default default word list of dir search uh, dir search yeah this one dir search is a, a tool uh, file uh, brute forcing tool it is so that is word list where it is it's in db i guess yeah so many people directly use this one dicc.txt okay this is the base uh, uh, default word list that comes in the search uh, many people directly use this and uh, when you will use it uh, you won't be able to find uh, any unique Okay, so where was I? So many people will use uh, first dir search. I have tweeted about it, I guess, so in the way back. Uh, let me Google it out. Uh, okay, yeah, this this uh, this was one of the tweet I tweeted. 
I was using this when I started uh, fuzzing when I was at the beginning stage. I was using dir search first, then I was using directory list 2.3 medium. This is a uh, this file is from dir buster which is by OWASP. Okay, so you can also find that same list uh, in here. This one medium. So uh, normally in CTF, what happens is CTF. CTF there is some uh, rule or you can say uh, the person who is creating the machine or the CTF they have to use some default world list that uh, comes pre-installed or commonly known okay so that the people can easily find uh, uh, what you say the file or the flag or the hint for the flag right so they have to use this one but in normal bug bounty uh, environment or you can say while hunting for the bugs on bug bounty uh, we won't be able to find much but even though these are uh, nice there was some distortion okay so normally uh, people will people normally use this dir list 2.3 medium.txt uh, in ctf ctfs and uh, also uh, one raf raf is also useful now both these two are very common so many people will first use them normally if you just want to test or quick test you can also use this quick hint dot txt i have got a few uh, dot git <laughs> dot git normally just dot git uh, using this so when i was using at the beginning stage i was uh, using this file first i start with quick uh, hits dot txt okay then I uh, had gone to dir search and then after doing that I will run in the background big uh, what was that directory directory that 2 point mid 2.3 medium one that I uh, the one that I showed you right so I was using these three world list at the beginning then uh, another world list that uh, I was using was null encoded world list his world list was in content discovery, I guess. In code. I guess I have tweeted about that. Where here? No. Hmm. I went, I guess. So that is also one of the world list which I was using. I should have tweeted that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have right, I guess. <clears throat> so these are a common world list that uh, people use. So if you will you also use this, you won't be able to find something unique, right? So in the uh, last one year back ago, Namsek uh, Namsek Khan in Namsek Khan, Tom Nam Nam gave a uh, session on what world list what and how. Tom Nam Nam world list. If I search about that. Uh, this is the one. I highly recommend you to go through this video. I will also share this in. Uh, let me just copy it here. This one. And, okay, uh, so our first speaker of the night is no other than uh, the amazing Tom. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let me share this. So this talk is one of the great ones. You can say when you. Okay. Yeah. When you want to learn uh, about creating world list. But I'm today I'm going to show you one uh, tool which was inspired by this and uh, the creator I guess I don't know Worldish Weaver, yeah. So Worldish Weaver uh, uses the technique shown in that video and helps you create a target specific Worldish. Okay. Now before we come to this tool, uh, let me share with you some more tools which is one is Cup. Okay, Cup I guess Cup dot uh, pi now cup dot pi will help you will take some information first will take some information and uh, help you generate username list username list password list and i guess uh, it also now support uh, creating uh, world list uh, for direct purpose i guess uh, but i'm not sure i haven't used it uh, just in uh, I guess in one of the uh, hacker one uh, hack the box uh, machine I guess I had used for creating password list okay 
so this can be useful but uh, for specific uh, when you have information when you have information of the target okay information of the target now let me show you i think so it comes pre-installed in the kali one is cup cup dot pi cup dot p by beta yeah this is the one common user password uh, common user password profiler so it will help you to generate user password uh, password uh, word list user when you want to brute force uh, username and the passwords okay so you can use this but i think so it's outdated it's not been updated since a lot so there is after that one other tool came which was cwl quill uh, quill i'm not able to pronounce it <laughs> sorry for that so quill is also one of the great tool, i guess so if you just search it out here it comes in pre-installed in the kali so before world list we were i was using this tool quill for generating custom uh, world list so it is made in ruby you can directly install it i think so if i type here quill dot edge it will show me the help menu so normally here the main flags which you need to look after is this d1 which is a depth so what quill will do is quill will uh, spider the web and uh, get the keywords all the keywords from the web source code okay so depth will this flag will uh, tell you how much deep link uh, the crawler has to go then m will tell uh, m flag will help you to define the length of the word so if you want to generate a word list which is uh, nine at least nine words it should contain so so then you can use this m flag and uh, o is to visit off site uh, sites other than the domain okay so these are the one and one another one was i guess uh, yeah a include metadata okay so these are some uh, few facts so what you can do if we take one example let's just uh, pick uh, one from i guess uh, there is one great article by hacking articles hacking articles I haven't used this quill since very long. Yeah, this one. So this is one of the great article if you want to use quill. Uh, let me share here with you. And also in our notes. Quill. You can use this guy. <laughs> okay sorry about that so let's try again now here w uh, custom let's tell custom will dot txt okay so you can check this out it should create custom oops not creating anything like this command is proper I Let's try some other domain, I think. Example.com. Yeah, it's working. I don't know why it's what not working for hacker. Okay, so what it uh, did was it had uh, gone to the example.com. It will visit the example.com. Example.com. And it will uh, check its source code here yeah, like this and it will scrap all those words which are uh, uh, non common tags like this uh, meta and this sort of HTML tags right so it will not use those it will not include those if you check here meta and more all those are not it will eliminate uh, HTML tags 
normally which are used and it will include just the content of the page so you can see illustrative should be also present here like this one so it does this now it had also if we mention the depth here i guess it should also visit other but since example.com doesn't have any link here or any hyperlinks so it will not work there is one but uh, it will change the domain so if i mention here that flag uh, o flag so it will also uh, go to aina.com okay it will also include that it should include that i guess now nah. offsite okay nevertheless uh, this is the basic command of quill which you can use to generate a custom world list for your target now the problem is that it will just uh, scroll the page hold this page and uh, get those words right uh, get the generic words from here generic i think i missed up that term so this is one of the tool which you can use uh, command is this just note it down in the notes where uh, he defines the crawl uh, like the depth of the crawl then m is the minimum words that should be because we mentioned three so in our word list uh, three should be the minimum length of a word of a word right this for use like that so i suggest you also uh, use three so you won't be missing anything then just the target the w w for the saving purpose okay so this is a quill you can use if you want more detail guide then this is one of the link now other tool which i was wanted to cover before we move to that was uh, which not many people are doing which is github getting endpoints from github now right now world list can be of three types okay uh, world list can be categorized into three one is uh, path world list or you can say directory path or directory world list or you can also say endpoint world list other one is uh, parameter world list okay parameter world list another one is uh, i guess this should be the one yeah normally user password and all those credential world list okay i will let cred world list world list so depending on these what you want to create you can use a, a different different tools like the one i told you uh, cup cup you can use for credential world list and uh, other one uh, uh, is tt pass i guess you can also use tt pass gen when doing ctf this uh, tool will help you a lot tt jan pass i guess this is the one tt jan uh, pass jan i guess mm, pass jan yeah github yeah this is the one so you can also use this when doing ctf and you want to brute force uh, any uh, login page you can use this tool as well rtd pass and so i will also mention that here besides quill you can say for for user password okay you can also use this tool for this purpose i'll just do here like this same another tool that uh, has a gui also okay for credential which is i think so mentalist mentalist uh, yeah this is one it uh, it has a gui feature like this you can see you can use this as well so i will also include that here so depending on what purpose you want the world list for uh, you can use these tools for creating custom ones okay now uh, we covered this one i think so for creating credential world list uh, you can use these tools uh, for generating path directory endpoints you can use quill or another tool that uh, which is uh, yeah world list weaver world list weaver i guess 
yeah this is the tool which i recommend you to use and uh, this one is let me copy it yeah now first i was using this uh, this tool now i'm using wireless v1 and the command is very simple but the in installation part of wireless weaver is a little bit uh, unusual so i will help you with that uh, and uh, we will install it together i'll just show you again and be beside this tool uh, one is github endpoint.py other one is wayback which you should include in your uh, wireless generation i think so we can create a bash script and include all these tools other should be google go.org i guess go.org yeah it is a golang based uh, google docking tool now right now this will not make any sense right because i am just uh, sharing with you the name of the tools and all so let's start with the methodology or you can say let's start one by one now i was wanted to introduce you with all this that uh, we will be seeing these tools and generate our world list okay so let's start uh the first we will see i have mentioned what type of wall list we are not uh, we are not going to generate a cred wall list you can check this uh, cube or td pass and mental list whatever you prefer parameter wall list uh you can i will also show you that parameter wall list i have written a blog i guess on that uh, parameter one medium medium dot previously i think so i wrote a blog on parameter group for sing uh you can find there okay, let it be uh is my screen visible my internet is lagging or what stories publish yeah this one params if you haven't then you can check it out i'll share the link with you guys so for parameter you can check this yeah okay now <clears throat> we are going to generate a custom path or directory or endpoints uh, world list okay custom one how we can create it we will learn this today so uh, first what i like to do is i will directly use quill first because quill directly comes in kali and uh, you can use it to generate it So I'll just copy a command. Let's uh, take one uh, <coughs> a target. Can you suggest any target? We should generate a wall list for. Anyone? So guys, we should be interactive, right? The stream should be inter uh, interactive. I want you guys to also participate in. Neura Legion. Okay, let's use this then. Right now, for the sake of tutorial purpose, I will be only uh, putting. I think lab should be. Let's just directly use it. Uh huh. What's happening? Here we go from the top part. Yeah, uh, it's working. It's working fine. Then what's the issue? Okay, I was missing W W W. There was a reason. So it is taking some time. What is this app for? Your yeah. app and your peer file. Okay. Does it has a bug bounty program or what? <coughs> Epic Games. Uh, that will be a big. <laughs> okay, okay. So, I think so. It is done. Let's check custom quill. so it has collected some of the words in lots of the words now 
after creating this what we will do uh, we can simply add custom uh, let me create a nano custom word dot sh so we dash i'll just paste the command here oops what was our command Now, if you are familiar with bash, then you can directly use a percentage one. Now, percentage one is the argument that we will be passing to the bash script. Okay, you can change the option. Now, side by side, I will also creating the bash script for us. Uh, any questions so far? Are oh, you not getting anything? I am saying something. Any questions? Any doubts up till now? Okay. Now Gwen created a tool which is known as GitHub Endpoint. You can check this out. What it will do? It will fetch uh, endpoints of a target domain uh, from GitHub. Okay, it will uh, search for this, but uh, it require a GitHub token, which uh, on stream I think so I won't be able to share. <laughs> but uh, simply you can use this GitHub endpoints uh, D, uh, ten D ten raw. Okay. So I think so. I should be having a install a GitHub token. Uh, let me for a second stop this grid. Okay, let me uh, set up. I will be back. Okay, is my screen visible again? Is it visible now? Yes, it is. Okay, okay, thank you. So, what you can do, you can just simply direct uh, get this. Copy it, uh, git clone, paste it like this, and uh, load into a pen So uh, you can directly use this github endpoints.py, this is python script. Oh, okay, it's made in Golang, nice, it, con it was converted into Golang. Cannot execute binary file, why, what happened? Okay, okay. It was uh, in Python before, so I think so. Grant changed it back again. Nice. I will be able to directly use it. So, uh, Grant made a Py version also, Python version. It was, yeah. I missed out. This was a script which Grant created, and uh, I was using the Golang version. So, he put it the tool in Golang. Nice. So you can use this tool to get uh, endpoints from GitHub. Okay. Gather. Mm. What happened? Uh, gather. This is lagging. GitHub endpoints. You can use this. Then we will use uh, Wayback Machine, Wayback Robots. 
so wayback robot is also one of the script python script that uh, you can use to get those disallowed now if you know about robot.txt uh, if we go to this neural or robots.txt so here it is mentioned that uh, web this is a wordpress site right web.admin so it has not allowed any crawler to crawl this wp.admin but as an attacker as an attacker if we get access to wp uh, admin we will be able to uh, take over this site right so like this wp admin there will be a lot of them which are sensitive and which should not be uh, publicly exposed on a google or something so those uh, endpoints are mentioned in this robot.txt now what is wayback.robot.py uh, does it will fetch all those previously mentioned uh, endpoints in the older version of the robots.txt from web archive or you can say wayback machine so you can search this github so this is a link also share it in the chat here so you can use this tool as well for getting the world list okay for uh, getting the endpoints now another which i was wanted to mention was this go dark uh, by Swagnito, Siswanto, Siswanto. <laughs> so this guy created a tool which you can use Google Docs and uh, get the URLs from it. So let me also install this. Okay, it's still installing. Let me open a new tab. Mm. selection so what we are going to do is we are going to gather uh, from crawling using quill okay then we will use a github uh, endpoint uh, we will gather words from github endpoints as well we will also gather words from wayback machine and uh, other one we will use Goda uh, for gathering URLs from uh, Google. Okay. So what happens? Why I mentioned the Google Doc? Because Google uh, crawls internet all the time, right? And uh, it might have uh, captured an endpoint which was publicly faced first, and now it is not. So sometimes when you visit a crawled URL from Google, it might show that 404 not found. You might have uh, faced that issue, right? So those might be not be available or might be available on other subdomains okay so it is not necessary that uh, you use the same world list for just a single domain you can use that on other as well right so that is the reason why we are doing the go dark okay we are doing this way back uh, robots.txt one because we want to get those endpoints which are not allowed by crawler which should not be publicly export exposed and uh, we are using wayback robots.py to gather those urls which uh, those endpoints which are mentioned in the previous versions of the robot.txt and we will be using github endpoints.py for gathering endpoints from github repos where the website or the target was mentioned okay and we will using quell from call so i think so this should be covering a lot of it now instead of quill you can also use worldlist weaver now uh, godork is installed godork catch okay it's installed uh is the github endpoint installed yeah github endpoint is also installed right okay it's also installed Okay, so let's try first dot dot cd uh, nano custom words dot sh. Okay, so the next step we will be using is uh, GitHub endpoint. Uh, GitHub endpoints. Yeah.
we do edge we will be able to see a uh, lot of things here options of the there so domain what was our target neuro legion neural legion okay let's copy that and try it here and what else option we need to provide actually no also look for dummy example no we don't want that uh, display relative urls raw we'll be using the raw and we will be storing it in an output let's say custom underscore github dot txt okay oh, there is some error in the tool invalid address or nil why did it happen Think so there's some issue with the program let's just use that dot pi version that is a lot more easy i was using the dot pi version before Okay, let's start Maybe for our domain. We are using neural vision. Again. And other domain, we don't require that. I think so, not HTTP, just www.neuralagent should be enough. Just this. And raw. What happened? GitHub error. Uh, error argument. Okay. Odd token missing. I have fixed that. already had that why it's creating the issue then <laughs> oh sorry i can show you uh, so you got the point right uh, uh, i think so i should have shown you but uh, I need to expose the github token for that <laughs> okay so you can uh, you can use this tool okay github endpoint.py uh, let it be for right now but uh, you can explore it afterwards i will just uh, create a bash script and add the command in it and share with you and other one for that you need to actually uh, configure it the endpoint uh, sorry the environment variable of your github token and uh, it is now deprecated i guess this method is deprecated mm. uh, you can use this check but i'm not going to show this <laughs> radio x voice okay so uh, you can use this tool you can uh, explore it afterwards i don't know why it was creating issue but uh, next tool which we will be using is this one wget um, you can't do duplicate here wayback robot raw <clears throat> so wayback robot is one of the uh, scape which i mentioned before if you type h here 
Oh, okay, we can directly mention our target here. New low. For target, which is this one. So it found a 11 unique result. So it will take some time. It will fetch uh, all of the robot.txt's examples. Uh, sorry, all the robot.txt's back version from Wayback Machine. If I check here, www. Yeah. You will see this all well. Right now we are only able to see this one. Uh, this WP had been right. But there were these endpoints which were not like this boo one. What does it does? So you can simply go here and check there was this endpoint. So page not found. Okay. So this can also lead to some sensitive uh, files or endpoint like editor dot wix i think so it is uh, created using wix so it also helps you to uh, identify the technology as well and how it was created uh, then there's what this seo editor.js so i'm seeing this editor.js a lot what is this does editor.js it's still present or just editor okay so this is also one way uh, you can combine it now next what we are going to see was go dark okay go dark go dark uh, if I do edge here you can see queries so you can mention your like site you can use google doc our site is uh, neurologic neurolegion right so we will be using neurolegion site neurolegion this should be the one and this so how many pages uh, right now i just you uh, scroll just one page or uh, two page let's use two page and i want the output as in silent mode and i will store that uh, in in uh, clean it clean it dot txt okay right now i will store it clean it in here why invalid option oh, oh sorry i did cat here Go oh oh sorry 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 i finish out this one q side and here this so it will get me some endpoints now what you should do is okay it is also using jira uh, you can also find bug there uh, run nuclear jira template i guess uh, so while creating world list you get to know a lot about target as well <laughs> as you just saw it right now so what i will do here is i will use clean it that was our uh, links which we got from there right so i will be using uh, first i will cut it out d this f4 so i will be only getting uh, this here no, i think so dash yeah so i'll be getting everything after this after dot com okay like privacy endpoints carrier uh, next right this right here as you can see here so these are all the endpoints now what else you can do if you want to separate all these like this realization should be also be separated you can use said s means uh, check the pattern which is hash slash hash means uh, both the words on this deserialize as well as block okay and add and add it to next line so what it will do it will uh, check block it will take block as well as decent uh, deserialization and uh, add in slash n here so deceleration will be on the next line and then again hash and g globally do so blog and deceleration is on the 
another line right now i'll use short u sorry hyphen u now i got all these uh, end points okay you can end include that in the world list so we will store that in our uh, world list which is custom go dot we will mention it like this dot txt okay now clear now we have captured some from github but we are not able to be due to some technical issue then uh, we got from wayback urls we got some endpoints from wayback url from uh, quill using quill and uh, custom go dot what is custom what's in custom go dot yeah this one we got it from go dot so let's just add the command so we don't forget it so this was the one I will be adding that in our bash script here yeah. before that we want to get the clean it command right so clean it we were able to create using this yeah. now instead of here I will be writing Now since we will be passing the quill uh, with HTTPS, uh, now let's just use here this percentage one here as well. Percentage one. Now what it will do? It will uh, use quill and generate a custom quill dot txt. Oops. Okay. Uh, I have to type it again. We will go dot and get a custom uh, get the URLs from there. Then we will be using our clean command for cleaning the world list or uh, the cleaning URL for our world list, which is this one. Now uh, we will remove our clean it dot txt. Okay, so after that, what we are missing right now, we have covered code or uh, wayback URL. Yeah, we missed the wayback URL. So we also getting from there. I did use wayback URL. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. We'll be copying it and adding it to our world. Yeah. We will be adding percentage one here as well. And now we have this. Now another which I missed I didn't mention was uh, using GAO as well. Okay, GAO for uh, getting URLs from Wayback Machine. So I forgot that one part, but uh, let's add that as well. So what you can do, you can use GAO. Then our target which is uh, neural region, neural region. Sorry. So you can use this. You can uh, include subs, I guess subs for that. So let me just check the help menu. For the subdomains, it's sub, right? Yeah. So, cow subs, and then our domain. And then, what we will do? Uh, we will using unfurl. Unfurl is a tom nom nomus tool, and we will just extract the parts from the URL. Okay. So, this will uh, get all the parts. And if you want to get the parameters, then you can use instead of paths, you can use keys. Okay. Now, unfurl page, you can check here. Unfurl. Oops. Unfurl yeah. This tool by Tom Nom Nom. Okay. I will add it here. 
that you can easily get it. Gao, you can just simply type Gao and run. This is the one. So there are different options in this tool, and we are using pattern. So path should be the one. Format. You path requested path. So it will just uh, give us endpoint on Gao. And then we will uh, sort it out for unique and uh, store it. I think so. We should get uh, URLs first. We will do this afterwards. So, o gav urls dot txt. Edit uh, complete. it will take some time till it is done let's install that uh, tool wordlist viewer okay so where is it wordlist viewer this one so if you go to scroll up here you can see git clone so installation is pretty much simple directly use this and uh, i think so here a uh, setup.sh which uh, already does uh, most of the part but uh, which will install uh, the tools required so you can simply uh, uh, clone it git clone then cd world list viewer and uh, let me just copy command here i can type as well but <laughs> that i'm pretty lazy here so that's done then if you have to simply run okay setup.txt we will run setup.txt and let it install how is already installed okay it's done did it get installed let's check this out so if i do here this I should be getting where is it? Did I mention? Oh, gav URL. Where is it? Gav URL. Okay, we interact. Uh, we interacted with the uh, interrupted the process of gav. I guess cannot find module with config stream x run this and from talk is not installed a new a new is installed okay uh, way back url i already have that preparing world list talk is not installed okay we will directly use uh, we will directly install it Uh, go get install I did I type the command wrong Today everything is <laughs> not happening properly. <laughs> uh, no, there is no install. Sorry, my bad. It is in the latest one. Okay, it's getting installed now. Can I use talk? Yeah. yeah, it's working. Okay, so let world list viewer run. We type H here. It should uh, tell our uh, flags which are important for this. So this uh, tool has lots of features. You can directly run it as uh, like this, or 
like worldlistweaver.sh then your target domain it will run the default flag or you can also supply a subdomain list to it using the s flag uh, you can also supply it uh, your own crawled bob urls using this this is a list of urls that you have collected through bot crawl or uh, like that then p is the path that you want it to uh, crawl okay and get the urls from uh, uh, it will does the same work as a quill does but in the better way or you can say quill on steroid type work okay so right now we will just simply use uh, polish fever and our www.neuroregion our target which is where was it neuroregion uh, okay it will be uploaded on youtube so we'll do this and enter so it will go on new neural region uh, legion.com and uh, will generate a target specific world list so if we come to this part or cow part i think so it was not uh, it didn't save any url uh, i mentioned that now you are okay let me just directly use this then urls.txt it's done now a cat cow urls then unfurl u paths so it will extract all the endpoints from it right now since these are from various sources like wayback url uh, then uh, alien vault and all those uh url scan.i also has been covered i guess by cow so it has gathered url from those passive sources so it has also the history endpoints which were used on uh, previous versions of the web application right so it might still be active the endpoint might still be active so you can uh, also get some sensitive information by using this as well so what we will do here is uh unfurl u path and we will store it in a custom let's say custom uh gov but before that since it's just a path we want a world list right so what we will do we will use the same uh set command which we had used before and use s and then we will use uh, that hash slash hash uh, then n then uh, hash g means do it globally right now if we do this we will get all the world we will do a sort u here and it will get all the uh endpoints we will store it in custom gov dot txt okay now we should have gathered from cow from godorg from uh, uh quail from github and this i think so this should be enough a uh, lot of words right now we missed the github one but since uh, i can't expose my github token here so i will uh, skip that part for right now but you can explore it afterwards okay now i will just delete the uh, gav urls from here also remove the clean it version so i should be having a custom quill custom github custom uh, go dark in this right uh, let me change the custom word our bash script so before that let's uh, copy the command in our bash script so we don't have to run the tool again and again or type the commands again and again okay so let's copy it add it here right now the script is looking very ugly <laughs> but uh, i have created uh, my own bash script and uh, added a lot of feature in that but uh, we will create here one which is uh, from the scratch i was wanted to show you from the scratch how it is done the process of creating the bash script as well as uh, uh, how you can uh, generate a custom world list yourself so doing this will save a lot of your time and i will enter here gov urls.txt okay so it will remove it uh, so for the cleaning purpose housekeeping so 
so we will be getting this all world list now right gao underscore and all those we have just now created now we will combine it so what we will use we will directly we can use cat custom uh, our quill command okay then custom uh, gao command and then custom uh, go dot and uh, since we did the uh, github one we will not be adding and www dot this one okay and sort it out sort you and uh, store it i will be doing p here p target let's uh, tell it a target custom dot txt okay and we are also found some words here yeah. now our word list was like 300 uh, 3828 words it contained this now let's check our word list which is target so this is all these are all the words it also cover xml rpc here <laughs> xss bigger and smaller and all those these are all the uh word list now now comes the fun part now what you need to do uh, one thing you can clear here as well that is uh, if i use car custom here and uh, if i uh, simply do this you will be seeing that uh, there are some words here like this uh, slash here in the front right so what you can simply use is uh, when you use cut <laughs> this uh, uh, you can say uh, lame lame way to do this okay so it will be removing that slash here you can use said or any other right now just for the sake of total purpose i am doing some cheating here <laughs> so you now this should be enough and we will store it cleaned clean custom word list okay dot txt now this is our final word list that we have created using various techniques okay so we will be also adding that command here in our bash script simply do one thing uh, simply do one thing that instead of here uh, add the percentage one okay our target because it will be storing percentage one and now now if we get here add one more command which is echo target echo then inside it we will be using this yeah like this we will be adding this uh, we will be adding cat target but we had clean that right little bit so which was that command this one so we will be doing echo and then we generate it let's just type we generate it word list which contains percentage this this then cat we'll be uh, using the command cat command in our echo command custom clean sorry this one clean custom like this so if i remove this here WCL words which under word which contain this many words okay so this is it so what we will do here if I explain the bash script again to you uh, it will run quill 
then it will run way back uh, robots.txt then it will run godoc uh, for getting urls from github then it will clean those uh, urls and get just the path or the endpoints and then clean it again uh, we will remove the clean we will run gau and gather all the urls and from gau we will extract all the paths we will uh, clean it little bit and get only the path uh, uh, name first name and second name uh, that pattern which i showed you that blog and deserialization right and we will sort it again and create this one then remove this cow one because we don't require it then we will combine all those we have created and sort it and uh, uh, show the world list and we will again little bit do some cleaning of that uh, removing slash and uh, sort it out okay clean custom world list dot txt or you can simply use here that uh, shade command here instead of uh, cut okay so this is our final script it won't be working i guess because i haven't mentioned the way back uh, path here uh, godoc will work and now will work let me mention the uh, okay so it has created a neuro uh, it has created some world list here i created the world list which is generic world list which contains the generic words then path world list paths and parameter world list as well as it has also collected urls so if by type is www dot if you check generic world list it contains all the generic words which was extracted from the response okay oops what i went okay www dot now if i check paths world list so it contains all those path the clean version it has removed a uh, html tags from it and generated it so this is my if i want to save time and don't want to run whole all this process i'll just simply use world is viewer to me and uh, this i have created a bash script which i think so i will uh, share on github soon enough but right now i'm using it on cnec so i'll share it afterwards <laughs> let me use it first <laughs> and uh, this is all the but the tool does the same thing but little bit of more cleaning is been done in that tool okay so this is everything that i do for creating a custom world list do you have any questions because we are uh, i think so there 46 uh, anyone has any doubt anyone have any doubt right now Uh, you can type in the chat so this one you mean this all notes sure i will just uh, type in uh, our chat stream notes uh I was not ready for this talk, so sorry if I was not uh, able to explain it to you correctly. So let me share it to you like this. Okay, done. So, uh, any questions? Anyone have, or should I? Ah, uh, Prasan. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. So I was just thinking that if we could integrate uh, that specific tool for JavaScript you made into this. Uh, which one? JavaScript. That JS Scope dot SSH I guess. Uh, which was one? it made by you? Which one? Oh yeah yeah okay 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 J JS Scan you mean? JS Scan yes yes yes. JS Scan. scan. Yeah it was made by me. Yes, so is there any? Uh, I mean, actually, I was not able to run it properly. So, if we could integrate in this script, yes, same issue with me also. Uh, what is the issue? I don't exactly remember, but I tried to use that tool when it came out, but I was not able to. Ah, uh, what you can do? Ah, uh, simply create an issue. I will try to uh, resolve it. Okay. Ah, okay. uh, yes. So, uh, could you just run that tool uh, on this? script or i mean some any target okay okay let me check where it is i haven't work on that tool uh, uh yeah 
are there any other tools that you are using other than this for javascript uh no no right now i am okay. directly doing manually using uh, burp right now i am not focusing on automation uh right uh, i have to check my to own tool <laughs> help menu <laughs> i forgot that so uh, okay so gather js file link what was that command add js file on manual na uh, scan for this find patches let me check my own repo <laughs> uh, i think so i included a video for that but well it's a scan all okay i think so this is the older version of jsf scan which i have right now uh, but uh, uh, which was that command Mm. Okay, yeah, we need to uh, share the list. There's the JS file link. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Uh, let uh, add this testing targets. Okay, what do I have in targets? Dot com. Okay, okay, okay. Done, done, done. So this is the uh, uh, target file. Okay, target file have just one URL, which is pandav dot ru. Okay. now what i will do i will use jsf scan and then l and then target dot com okay and uh, if i enter it it will start gathering js file links like this so it will take some time you can mention uh, subdomains in here checked by live uh, by checking if those are live or not and uh, add it in the uh, target it can be anything also i uh, one thing i forgot to mention you can use uh, uh, jsf scan and gather uh, js files after that what you can do or you can directly simply use that endpoint feature of jsf scan here uh, this one oops one what js uh, scan yeah uh this e e1 this one e gather endpoint from js and include that in your uh, whole list okay you can also use this as well okay done i think so here are all those uh, links javascript one uh, i think so there was no live urls these are all the javascript okay anything else i don't know what problem you are facing uh, you can uh, create an issue if you want okay anything else not from my side mm-hmm. missing argument try hard Uh, said any resource uh, you can google it out i simply if i want to learn a command i simply type it like this uh, how to remove https using said if i want to that remove and i simply get from any stack overflow or your so uh, uh, like this said command so i never had to <laughs> specifically learn set command and uh, distro tube has get okay yeah you can learn le- regex it will be a lot of helpful if you go in soft so any any questions anyone was it helpful <laughs> Okay, missing URL argument. Uh, I think so. HTTPS will come here. It's not working. Or uh, you can check uh, in stream notes, I guess. That will work. This one. You can try this. Try this. This command. If it works or not. Uh, 
okay so i think so that should be we should wrap up it's not working uh maybe uh you can uh update it well it's using i don't know what's the issue here uh it's okay script it's just a scrappy script you can say <laughs> it's not a final one <laughs> but uh let me don't save it the script you can improve it okay uh, improve it yourself custom words yeah i'll share it in the stream notes you can go see it in your own yeah okay then uh, anything else uh, i was also wanted to show you how to uh, properly uh, brute force and all those using ferf and ferox ferox buster and all those tool i was also wanted to show you dirt search and all those but since we don't have enough time uh, it's it's i was thinking about one hour stream but it's uh, extended to half an hour more because i was not able to uh, properly explain to you but uh, i think so that should be uh, start the stream next stream uh, i will think about that uh, if you have any topic so i think so i'm stopping it here for the youtube uh, if yeah sure and discuss it uh, after uh, let me just stop the recording yeah